Hey y'all, what's up? Today is going to be uh, an interesting day because I have a ton of things to do, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna start. My mom just called me, so I'm going to meet her right now at her house. Before I do that, I have a bunch of clothes from Walmart that I purchased that I am going to return. I've, I've never owned a jeans jacket before and I always wanted a jeans jacket. I saw this in Walmart and I said, oh my gosh, I had to get it. It was pretty nice, but I tried it on. I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. You know what my issue is? I have fat arms. Damn. I'm gonna take it back. I mean, I love jeans jacket, but I also got this pants. It's like a, I don't know what it is, a legging, but it's pinstripes and I thought it was super cute, but it's super small, <laughs> it has pockets in the back also. And I bought my son some shirts. He, boys, they grow so fast. So I purchased a few t-shirts. I bought two sizes up and he's not big, but he's husky, slim husky. And these could not fit him. I also got these, they're good material. This is pretty cool because it has like the dinosaur sleeves. And then I also got him this as well. Has like a little mask hoodie. <laughs> I thought this was cute. Seems like as a mom, our work is never done. Like especially when you complete 50 million tasks and it's like, oh crap, I have another 50 million to do literally within the next hour. Okay, kai kai. Okay, kai kai. It's sunny out here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I forgot I had receipts up here. Oh, cripples, hold on. I'm gonna head to Walmart because the Walmart is on my way to my mom's house, running and do a return. And then I'll head to my mom's house. I'm so hungry. Have so much to do today. I have so much to do today. So much to do today. prices where you guys are i hear about the gas inflations all over the place but <laughs> this is the first i'm seeing it like in my neck of the woods you know what i'm saying? <clears throat> that truck just turned like he was trying to hit me like he was trying to run me over guys i was thinking and i know you shouldn't talk with your mouth full and all that jazz but I figure with all the mukbang videos going around, I'm safe. You know, I'm okay. So I was thinking, my lease is up in July of this year. And so I'm, you know, I'm not going to renew it. I'm going to move. But I'm not sure where to. And I really, really genuinely have been considering, you know, purchasing one of those tiny homes. I mean, why not? I wouldn't have a mortgage. I wouldn't have to pay rent. Just make one deposit. They typically run like between three and five thousand, which is reasonable. That's something I've been considering, and I want to do a little bit more research on that. Where would I build it? I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Do they have a lot where you can pre-select the tiny houses? Do you, is it something that you order and it comes in the mail and you have to build it yourself? There are families with children who do van life. If you're not familiar with van life, I mentioned that briefly in one of my homeschool videos. Just something for me to think about. I'm gonna jam out to music and I'm gonna eat the next half of my sandwich.
right, so um, I'm just getting back from Walmart and there's another store that I wanted to visit. But if I go in there, <laughs> I'm gonna be in there for probably an hour. And I told my mom that I would be heading to her wedding now. So I can't even really talk to you guys because it's so windy out here. So now I'm gonna head to my mama. Somebody's calling me. I don't know who this is. Who's, who's that? She's gonna be there too? So? So? <laughs> I, I thought it was like a small intimate wedding. You have to invite every Jamaican you know. You have to invite every Jamaican you know. Yeah, well, you have to, yeah, you have to, um, no, you can invite every Jamaican with it. Well, you have to have, um, invite people so you have enough. Like, if you want at least 80 people there, you invite 180. You know, 80 are going to come. Oh. Uh, okay. And what if the 4180 comes? Never. You never have the right amount of people. But what if? No, you never have the right amount of people at no wedding. Who did it? Who come out with it? Did it? That's all I'm going to say. Oh. About 17 pounds. guys i'm at my mom's house right now um she's doing something in the kitchen i don't know but i'm waiting for my assignment Hi. oh it's not it's not on you <laughs> it's on me <laughs> this is food i'm hungry from an interview Oh, how was the interview? It seemed like it was okay. Oh, God. I feel so uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. Do I have to take my shoes off? I'm literally at Aldi's. I am, like, running all over the place today. And I have to get some fruit, some eggs, bread, and some other stuff. And I have to use the bathroom. of all these and it's like wait a minute i opened one of the bathrooms and i'm like maybe i'm in the wrong bathroom I, I don't understand i don't get it so men and women can use this bathroom but then there's a third gender i, I don't know what that's about here i'll show you hold on let me show you real quick hey, don't get me wrong however you choose to live your life that's between you and you and god but I was just confused because that was the first time I was seeing that. So anyway, let me go take care of my business. <laughs> let me take care of my business. I forgot to show you my outfit of the day. This shirt I got from Five and Below. The scarf I got from Five and Below. And this jacket I got from, where did I get this from? Um, I think I got it from Rainbow, a store, a store called Rainbow. Leggings I got from Walmart in my boots. Um, I don't remember where I got it from. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Today is the day that I stock up on just staple foods. Like. The kids want to make strawberry smoothies, so I'm going to pick up a few strawberries. Strawberries and blueberries. So 
recipe requires. Make sure I have everything I need. Ooh, those are expensive. See you. I heard wheat bread is not really good for you, but I haven't really followed up on it. I probably should. They don't have any anyway. <laughs> Chunky salsa. Chunky. Let's see if it's between mild and medium. I don't know. try this um i'm not really big on soda but if i have a soda craving one which is like once in a million one in a blue moon um these are pretty good and they're supposed to be healthy for you each and that will satisfy my um soda craving oh my gosh i love it's one of my favorites one of my Aldi's sell shoes. Aldi's sell shoes. Holy cow. Price is hurting my heart. Seven dollars. Seven bucks for honey. Amazon cheese. I cannot, this is the first time in my life I'm using paper bags. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, paper bags. I've never used it, ever. I didn't even know Aldi's had paper bags. I mean, they're pretty strong, but I mean, it's, it's paper. And I don't put all my trust in it. Oh, God. It is a good thing I did not do my regular bi-weekly shopping because I would have had three times this and having that many paper bags would have been a problem. <laughs> That's what my groceries are looking like right now. Nice and stacked. My trunk is packed with bins that I have to go through from storage is why they're not in the trunk. Let me return my cart, get my money back. You thought I was going to say I was going to head home, didn't you? <laughs> nope. <gasps> Is this Ew. a temple? Oh my gosh, I'm breaking out. Oh, guys! 
I ordered some stuff from Amazon uh, for the party I'm going to this weekend. And I'm super excited. It's like this beautiful shawl. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a get ready with me. And I'll show you guys. So let me run into Target. why I don't come here because I can get the same scotch tape for one dollar or one ninety nine anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? See, the dress I'm wearing is an open neck dress. So I was thinking to wear like, like a necklace. And the ones that I have home don't really go with my dress. I'm thinking pearls. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It's just beautiful. Let me get out of this section before I start buying things I know damn well I don't need. I haven't bought a foundation in a long time. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. My face is very oily. What kind of foundations were good for oily skin? I think I purchased this before and it didn't really do me any justice. Milani. Guys, I'm so overwhelmed. I am so overwhelmed. I literally just put makeup on my finger and my hand. <laughs> I didn't mean to put too much on. It's hard to get off. Maybe this is the foundation I need. Just like not budging at all. <laughs> I put some on my hand and it seems to blend pretty well. So I may get this L'Oreal. I'll try L'Oreal, but maybe like in a shade that's a little bit lighter. I legit forgot where I parked. Okay, I found my car. I got what I needed from Target, I believe, hopefully. And I'm so scared because I purchased new foundation. I purchased new makeup I've never used before. My daughter just called me, asked me when I'm gonna be home because she wants to take a bubble bath. <laughs> I promised her I would clean the tub out and fill it up and put some toys in there and make it nice and cute. So I'm going to head home and unload the groceries, get my mail, get into it. Busy mom. <laughs> this is like every day for me and this is not even everything that I've done today. This is literally a little more than a quarter of my tasks for today. And whatever I didn't do today, it just bleeds over until the next day and then the next day and the next day. And it's like, it's still, I'm never actually finished everything. It's always something I have to do. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with me today. What will I do without you? What would I do? What would I do? What am I gonna eat? I'm hungry. So. All right guys, so this is everything that I purchased. And this is just basic, this is like basic. My real grocery shopping, um, I do two weeks at a time. So I go twice a month, about five times for fruits and other perishable items. 
but these are just like basic staples that we you know that we eat on a daily basis i bought some eggs um once before for a dozen eggs and i love this smoked turkey bacon so two of those got some cucumbers um some cake bagels the synergy drink really good I love the Boathouse Farm um, juices. <clears throat> These are 100% juices. And instead of taking like the pill form vitamins, I drink these. And it serves well. Almond milk. Orange juice. Whenever I buy orange juice, I always, always buy pulp. Because pulp is healthier than no pulp. I prefer pulp in my orange juice. It tastes like it's freshly squeezed chips in case we wanted to do like movie nights not in case four movie nights and i love these also super food immunity boost i give a shot of this every morning to my kids and every night um grape juice cranberry juice salsa mix some onions uh what do you call this bananas i'm not really big on lunch meat I'm trying to get into it. My daughter likes to fry these. It's just so odd. She fries them like breakfast meat. I don't know. It's weird. Avocado. This is going to be to eat. And also part of my daughter's part of Paige's hair recipe. Her hair mask. Lettuce. Some strawberries. This is to make homemade pizza. It's the oven brick artisan flatbread really really good some tomatoes some biscuits blueberries for the kids i think i'm allergic pasta parmesan cheese some honey pancakes oh, so that's pretty much like oh and this corned beef <laughs> if you're jamaican then you know you know what's up with this right so that's basically a little grocery haul and surprisingly surprisingly guys none of this actually fell out of the paper bags so i'm super psyched oh wait and i also have pineapple i forgot about that so my daughter she can take a bubble bath and she's waiting patiently so i'm gonna go ahead and get the bathroom cleaned and fixed up for her I'm gonna go ahead and clean her bathroom real quick and set up the bubble bath. Yes? Oh, my own computer. You have your own computer. What are you talking about? You said it's yours. Oh, well, everything in here belongs to me because I paid for it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Paige, we have a problem. So something in the tub is not working. I have to call maintenance to get that situated. I don't know what's up with that. So who's in the bathroom? Are you sad?
she's sad. She's very disappointed. She was looking forward to the bubble bath. I feel bad. You get you. <laughs> I love you lots, like tater tots. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in my next video.